in Singapore tonight as President Trump and Kim Jong-un are moments away from their historic summit. Will it pave the way for ridding the Korean Peninsula of nuclear weapons? We'll have extensive coverage, including the insights of a North Korean defector. But first, the headlines in 60 seconds. The president's motorcade is en route to the Capella Hotel, where President Trump and Kim Jong-un will meet for the first time. This is truly a mission of peace. How long will it take to figure out whether or not they're serious? I said, maybe in the first minute. Kim Jong-un out and about visiting a Sands Casino resort. This was like the tour of some kind of rock star. Adding to the circus atmosphere. Dennis Rodman here in Singapore. Now he wants credit for the summit. I'm just happy to be a part of it because I, I think that is very big. I think that I brought awareness to a lot of things around the world. As President Trump sits down with his longtime enemy, he is hurling insults at some of America's closest allies. There's a special place in hell for any foreign leader that engages in bad faith diplomacy with President Donald J. Trump. An Orlando police officer is shot, and four children are held hostage. And the standoff still going on. A wildfire in Colorado doubles in size. Thousands of people have been forced to evacuate. Check, check, check. 